Welcome to the YouTube video. Today, we will talk about NHS doctors trapped in Sudan and how they can make their way to safety on UK evacuation flights. The British nationals trapped in Sudan were told to take advantage of the evacuation flights before midday on Saturday local time as the operation is set to end. The Department of Health and Social Care sent a message on Friday night to the NHS doctors in Sudan, telling them to go to Wadi Saidna airfield, north of the capital, Khartoum, for evacuation. The British Medical Association has urged the Foreign Secretary, James Cleverly, to allow the evacuation of NHS medics, who are being prevented from joining the British effort because they do not have UK passports. The doctor said he had worked in the UK throughout the COVID crisis and felt totally betrayed by the ban on holders of work visas, which has continued all week despite repeated lobbying efforts from medical groups and unions. The scramble for the airfield comes amid a tense security situation, with multiple air strikes and shelling reported across Khartoum on Saturday morning despite a ceasefire led by the regional organization, the Intergovernmental Government Authority on Development, IGED. Akram Ahmed, from Waden Wabwe, reported that a fragment from an anti-aircraft hit the mosque to injure two pupils, but they were quickly taken out, and the Quranic school was evacuated. Despite the security situation, officials stated that approximately 1,500 people have been flown out from Sudan so far, and the majority of British nationals have already taken advantage of the evacuation flights. We stand in solidarity with all the NHS medics who are in Sudan, hoping and praying for their safety as we see the effects of the unrest in the city. We sincerely thank the British and Sudanese people who put their lives at risk to help ensure the evacuation flights ran efficiently. We also thank the hard-working workers at the Department of Health and Social Care and the British Medical Association whose tireless effort made sure these doctors will have access to safety. We urge all NHS medics without UK passports to apply for a visa right away in order to join the British evacuees as soon as possible. Let us hope that peace can be restored in Sudan and that the evacuation